hi guys welcome back to the channel so today we're going to look at an article and the headline of the article is minister chuck warns motorists with unpaid traffic tickets so the jamaican government really recently passed some new traffic laws so those laws are going to make it hard if not you won't be able to based on the new laws if you have outstanding traffic tickets you're not going to be able to register your car you're not going to be able to renew your license until those tickets are paid so this new traffic law it has been passed but it has not been implemented yet it's said to be that it's going to be implemented in february of 2023 so let's take a look at the article and then we discuss it after so the headline of the article is Minister Chuck warns motorists with unpaid traffic tickets. Motorists with outstanding traffic tickets are being urged to pay them or face consequences. The traffic violators will shortly find out that their license can't be renewed or their vehicles can't be licensed and warrants will be issued, said Justice Minister Delroy Chuck. He was addressing the commissioning ceremony for new justices of the peace for St. Anne at the Rio Hotel in Ocho Rios. The minister said that the government remains resolute in its stance that no amnesty will be granted to unruly public passenger vehicle operators who have outstanding traffic tickets. He noted that there are over 1 million unpaid tickets for which cases will be pursued. He informed that there are more than 2,000 drivers with over 100 unpaid tickets each. These are the people that tell you they want time to pay. These are the people who are repeatedly collecting tickets, tickets like confetti, Minister Chuck said. The audacity of persons who have violated the road codes to come and say they want an amnesty. The rudeness to demand that this government will not back down and we are determined that every single violator will face consequences, he emphasized. Minister Chuck further pointed out that unpaid tickets are clogging up the court system representing 70% of cases filed. The courts were never meant to be a collection agency. The idea of the traffic court was not when you get a ticket and you don't think you should have gotten a ticket, you go to the court after 21 days and plead not guilty because you are not contesting the ticket. That was the idea he noted. So. that's the end of the article now this article came out in early december and since then the government has issued an amnesty to persons with outstanding traffic tickets so as we said a new traffic law is going to come into effect into effect in february or it's scheduled to come into effect in february 2023 but at the end of the day you still need to enforce the law. Now it's good that they're tying unpaid tickets to renew your driver's license and your fitness and your registration. That's good, that will encourage people to pay the tickets. But when you have a million unpaid traffic tickets, that means something went wrong. You're not supposed to have so many tickets. I don't know if it's, I don't know where, but the system broke down because the way the system is supposed to work is you get a ticket. You have 21 days to pay it at the tax office. If you don't pay it after the 21 days, then you go to court. On the ticket, there is a court date and you go to court on that day and you plead your case. And the judge then makes a decision. It's, it's a legal case, so it might be postponed. The judge might make a decision etc because the police officer who issued a ticket in some cases will have to be there now if you don't go to court a warrant is supposed to be issued for your arrest because you miss court and you never pay the ticket clearly if there are one million outstanding traffic tickets the system broke down somewhere as you notice the minister said in this article the traffic violators will shortly find out that their licenses can't be renewed or their vehicles can't be licensed and warrants will be issued. Warrants will be issued. 
So for some reason, apparently warrants were not being issued. Now, Jamaica had a system, a point system, where if you accumulate too many points, you would your license would be suspended for a year. Clearly, if no, that system is not still in place, or the system broke down somewhere, because hear what it says. He informed that more than 2,000 drivers with over 100 unpaid tickets each. So over 2,000 people have over 100 unpaid traffic tickets. So clearly those persons' license should have been suspended. They should not have a driver's license. So again, somewhere along the line, the system broke down. And he says, these are the people that tell you that they want to pay. These are the people who are repeatedly collecting traffic tickets like confetti, Minister Chuck said. Though th that comment, I assume, is based or it's a, the taxi operators and the bus drivers who mostly collect the tickets like confetti. So basically they are the ones who are clogging up the court system so if you have 70 percent of the cases for unpaid tickets i mean something went wrong somewhere so it's good that you have the new traffic law it's good that it's coming to effect and it's good that you tie it into the uh, renewing your license and etc etc but somewhere along the line this law has to be enforced the existing law clearly was not enforced so it's all good you just have to make sure that this new law is enforced all right guys let us know what you think and remember to like share and subscribe and leave your comments in the section below have a good day